with us today. How are you? Yes, I'm good. Good. Here in my own apartment. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. It's new. <laughs> Ooh, it's fabulous. I love it. Uh, so with three months into uh, the Thelma uh, experience, you've been, the movie's been out since June. You've been on uh, Jimmy Kimmel. You've done all these appearances and interviews, and the movie's gotten such a great response. 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. What's been the highlight for you? I think that first time in Sundance, seeing it with an audience and just realizing how in love people were with the film, it was just blew me away. I had no idea. I don't think I've ever had a film where the audience loved the film as much as they do with this. Yeah, I uh, I saw it twice. I saw it in Burbank at your uh, Q&A set, uh, session. Uh, ah. Yeah, and then I saw it again in Ohio with my mother-in-law. And both times the audience seemed to really love it. I've had friends yeah. older than me, younger than me, all say they love it. It seems like it's resonating with people beyond just uh, um, older audiences. It's, it's Age, resonating yeah. with all ages. Why do you think that we're, is? We're having so many young people come up and say, oh, I can't wait to take my mother. I can't wait to take my grandmother. I mean, it's wonderful. And it, it seems to be growing you know people are drawing together because of it yeah i uh i had a friend that came up and said because she knew that i had gone to the screening she said i i heard that you loved it so i went and saw it and i loved it um it seems like it has sort of a universal message mm -hmm. um especially when you look at the 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 experience of thelma but also the experience of her grandson they kind of have a similar parallel experience um uh, what do you think was important to you in the filming of the the, the movie to uh, make sure that it was accessible to audiences? Uh, well, I always go into all of my filming with the attitude of reality. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I was taught uh, as far as, as acting goes. And so... I always feel if 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 it's real and then they people will react to it as a reality. And mm -hmm. I think they they do with them. I think they see themselves. I think they see their grandmothers, uh, their grandson, whatever. You know, they see they see themselves in this film. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, my mother in law, absolutely. It was her first time in the theater in, I think, five years. Oh, um, and she absolutely loved it. And she's like, I, mean, I want to take my friends back to it. Um, so that was really, that was a really fun experience. Yeah. Um, uh, that's great. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. And um, I'm curious, uh, one of the questions that stood out to me at the Q&A that I saw was the fact that Josh, the director, had you in mind from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what were you excited about getting to showcase that maybe you haven't had a chance to before with Thelma? Uh, I, I think mostly just, you know, with, with the, well, this does give you the advantage when you're the lead, you get more time on camera. So <laughs> I think that that was what was kind of exciting about it. And uh, if you wanted to say something, you got to say it maybe two or three times rather than once. So that, I think, did excite me, having the idea that I'm on camera for this much longer. Oh, that's great. And yeah, I, um, I noticed also what I love about the film is Thelma and Ben are going on this adventure. It feels like they're kind of getting away with something. They're kind mm -hmm. of going on this exciting secret adventure, but the film itself kind of feels kind of almost underground guerrilla style a little bit, like in the best of ways where it feels like as the film itself is kind of getting away with something. Um, I'm thinking about like the different locations you shot in the San Fernando Valley. Um, was there kind of a, an adventure quality to the filming of this film? Well, I think, the yeah, there was. Like they put us on the flatbed, they put the scooter on the flatbed and I remember they drove us off through this area. I guess it was North Hollywood, I think it was. And Richard and I got so tickled. And it was near, I don't know why they were dinosaurs. It must have been Christmas, after Christmas. 
and oh Halloween. That's my assistant yelling in there, Halloween. <laughs> and we saw this huge dinosaur in the lawn and we got tickled and it was, I will never forget that, you know, <laughs> that we were just all over the place on this flatbed, open as can be. And we were yelling at each other. We were yelling at Josh. And I mean, it was just pandemonium and we were having a wonderful time. <laughs> you really get a sense of that in the film. Like it feels like yeah, it was. Yeah, we did the- have. It was um, probably the most relaxed set I've ever been on. It was oh, so wow. relaxed. Yeah, very relaxed. And that's yeah, Josh. Cool. I think that, you know, he was the leader without a doubt with this film. That's great. Um, and speaking of, you mentioned Richard Roundtree, uh, your your co-star. Uh, mm-hmm. One of my favorite relationships, I think, of the year, the, the friendship that Thelma and Ben have. And uh, I think... What was interesting as as I thought about it more is that you both are kind of actors that have defied convention throughout your careers. You've broken down barriers and shown us different stories and characters that we haven't seen before. Um, What was it like? uh, What was it like working with Richard and how did you connect with him uh, behind the scenes? (laughs) Well, it was funny because Josh brought him to my apartment for lunch before we were going to start shooting. They walked in, and don't ask me why, but I said to Richard, well, it's about time. And he knew immediately what I meant, that we had never worked together. It's time we met. It's time we worked. He knew, and he said, yeah, yeah. And we both got tickled and laughed. And Josh didn't know what we were doing, what we were talking about. And it it was just, but he and I kind of knew. And I think we had that in our relationship you know, off camera as well. And he has five kids. I have one, but that gave us, we we talk kids a lot, you know, and uh, we talked about what we'd done, what we wanted to do, because we had a lot of time off camera together. (laughs) And it it was, it was just a really great experience. And I, I will say his, after he died, his we met his family. They were at Sundance. The five kids were. And the daughter that had been living with him said that he would come home and say, oh, June Squibb is kicking ass. <laughs> and I just will never forget that. I mean, and, and he came while I had, it was my birthday. And he was not called, but he came with two dozen red roses for me for my birthday I mean things like that it was just you know there was something there between us that we really I think we respected each other so much that's fantastic it really comes through in the the comfort level of the relationship yeah like you're, you're you're able to play off each other I think and it feels like you've been acting in movies together for, for yeah. exactly how comfortable you were um and I also want to shout out to like the there's also some incredible character actors in the film as well, people like uh, Bunny Levine and Annie Cozen. Mm-hmm. Um, what I love about the film is it shows us such a variety of older actors and realities of older uh, individuals. Um, what was it like getting to work with different actors of, uh, of that age, of, of such a variety? Well, it was it was it was wonderful, and it also made me realize I'm not the only one working now. There's a lot of older people still working. That's uh, that because usually I'm the only one in a company, you know, or in a film that of, of my age. But this, I was surrounded, and we worked at the motion picture home, and you know, there we were surrounded with older people all the time. And a lot of them were in the film. A lot of them were extras and and worked in the film. And that wonderful guy, I can't remember his name, that played the the one with the other scooter that we stole. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That he so took. Oh, he's so funny. He's wonderful. And he's he's still working. He's doing a TV show uh, as a regular, I think. That's fantastic. Yeah, it it was... So it's, I think, really cool to see different types of relationships that you don't normally see. Because like you said, yeah. often the older actor is the only one in the film. They're the grandparent or the mm-hmm. uh, grandma, right? But now we get to see all different types of relationships, friendships. Um, and uh, what do you think, as we kind of go into the fall and we go into 
um, this awards calendar season. Um, what do you hope people will rediscover about the film or consider about the film that maybe they haven't yet? I think, I hope they they realize the importance of it. I think that it's such fun and it's funny. And uh, I, I think that people could not give it its due in terms of the fact that it is an important film. Yeah, I think what's so astonishing for me about it is it, it is fun. It is lighthearted for a large part of it. But there's also some real depth to yeah and um, there's some truths there's a great yeah. deal of truth being said in this film yeah i think i think about the the moment where thelma is, has fallen and is on the ground and that that yeah. shot of you from overhead kind of there's so much go, there's so much incredible nuance to your expression in that moment some of the best acting i think i've seen this year what, what was important to you in that scene where we're thelma's kind of confronting um, her mortality or her limitations in that moment? Uh, I think you know, it, it's a way I work and I just did that. I don't know how to say <laughs> it otherwise. Uh, I mean, it was not anything. I, I think that I realized, you know, I'm flat on my back and I can't move. And so there's a physical thing, a reality that you want to deal with. And I always knew, too, that Richard was going to come and save me. So I, I don't I don't I don't think it, it was as hard as maybe it would have been. But I think that I was dealing with it from an acting standpoint, too. Yeah, it's such a beautiful moment. And I think it just underscores the the incredible like tenderness and nuance underneath the yeah. action yeah. story. I think it's very important in the film. And I think that him coming back is very important in the film. Absolutely. Um, uh, one last question before we go. Um, so I am friends, this is sort of uh, an aside, I'm friends with a couple named Gary and Bonnie. Um, and Bonnie mentioned that she had taken a uh, an acting class from your husband in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm just curious, I know your husband was an acting teacher. I wonder, is there anything from his teachings that you carry with you in your career? Oh, God. I would not be here working today if it were not for him. Now, he he took a musical theater comedian and helped me, you know, become what I hope is a fine actress. And um, but I, I I could never have done it alone. And uh, he was he was more determined than I was <laughs> that this was going to happen. No, he was phenomenal. He was a brilliant teacher. And I luckily lived with him. So <laughs> I got a lot of it. <laughs> got to clean a lot off. Well, you're yeah. an extraordinary actor. And I think Thelma is such a cap, uh, such a, uh, a jewel in the crown of your your filmography. So. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank I'm so you. excited I got a chance to talk to you. Um, and uh, best of luck on the rest of your Thelma journey. Thank you. And lovely to have this time with you. Yes, thank you. And, and again, bye -bye. love the talk. Love the talk. Oh, thank you. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.